You know when you get really excited about something, but then you go do it and it doesn't turn out the way you thought? Well, this was one of those spots for us. It might have been our luck, or lack of it, that things went a little sideways. Welcome back to Barely Squeaking By. Today we're going to Oaxaca City and we are taking a cab because we do not want to park our van anywhere over there. So I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Maybe I can convince her to eat a cricket today. If we find some. Or a grasshopper, whatever they called. What are they called? Someone tell us, please. What do you call dried or fried crickets? So we gotta walk a little ways to the main road because a cab or an Uber won't pick us up from the campground where we're at. We got maybe like a half a mile or maybe a mile walk. On a dirt road. Dirt road turns to pavement to get to the main road so that we can flag down a cab and get a ride to El Centro de Oaxaca because we're about maybe 25 minute drive from El Centro. We have not been able to spot any cabs yet. They're all full if we see any. All we see is this horse here. <laughs> but I don't know. Okay, well, we just flagged down a cab and he said no. He don't want to take us there. So we'll uh, try the next one. But I can't quit you, babe, cause I'm gonna wait till the end of time. Well, I know. Only room for one. All right, let's try another. Second fail. The guy only had room for one. So we're going on 20 minutes, still waiting. Jay's toughing it out under the sun out there. He's awesome. Unbelievable. Okay. You need you need to be the one out here <laughs> hailing the cab. <laughs> It's all backwards. I'm the one out on the street and you're the one hiding in the back shadow there. <laughs> you need to be the one out on the street. Everyone would have stopped. No. We would have been there by now. Yeah, we could have done that. Not finding a cab ended up being a fun mishap. Adventures are more memorable when they don't go as planned. How much was that? It was $10, 200 pesos. We've actually heard about this in Oaxaca, that you see a lot of signs where they're telling gringos to go home or tourists not welcome. We're just going in the opposite direction so we don't fall in the tourist category, but we have heard that a lot of Americans and Canadians are moving here and forcing the local people out. And there's, um, what do they call it? Gentrification happening here and no one's happy about it. It is really sad. So luckily we are not moving here. We are just here to visit. We're just passing through, but I'm sure they're gonna stereotype us just like the rest. So no worries. We have noticed as soon as we pulled in here, there are so many gringos. There's so many white people. I, that's all I see here. Everywhere you turn on every street. No. Our 
main goal once we arrived was to eat as much food as possible, but it was a Sunday and most of the places we wanted to go to were closed or didn't exist. So we did what anyone else would do. We're just gonna try whatever we see. So first place was this bakery and we got two things here that we're gonna try. We spent $7. We just went in there, asked what the best things were. This is what he gave us. We don't even know what it is, but we'll tell you what we think about it. It's nice and heavy though. All right, get in on it. We realized real quick, we aren't good at filming ourselves and eating. So Jay and Aubrey food reviews might not become a thing. So don't worry. Here we go. Oh, it looks different, Bob. It's really good. It looks like it has coffee beans in it. <laughs> powdered sugar, breathe it in. Yeah, don't inhale when something's got powdered sugar on it. Ooh, that was rough. The Christmas, or I mean Navidad decorations, are showing up everywhere now. Lights, ornaments, trees, it's already happening. Man, life is really flying by. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas comes early here. Yeah. So far, we feel like we're striking out. We've tried to get some food and it's just a bunch of fancy restaurants and we kind of had more of a street food kind of vibe going on today and we just haven't found any. It's been beautiful here in El Centro. We're at a cathedral right now. You got to check those out, but we're going to keep going, hoping that we have better luck. But so far we're feeling like we're failing us and you guys. We have officially lost count of how many churches we've walked into now, each perhaps more magnificent than the last. This one had etched glass and impressive woodwork. I'm going to add, they all deserve a look inside because no two are alike. So tall. That's crazy. It's not just one. Every door, yeah. Super impressive. Look at that. That's a nice board. That's really cool. That's neat. There it is. It's nice. <laughs> One thing we think of most is how we will never get to see everything on this journey, no matter how hard we try. And that thought makes us grateful for all the things we do see. Okay, come closer, check this out. This whole statue is made out of silhouettes of people cut out, all welded together. Silhouettes. Try to keep your eyes focused down low, you know. I, I know your eye wants to wander up in this region here, oh but you know, try crazy. to stay on task, on point here. I don't know what it is, but I love like steel art, mega sculptures like this, it's really cool. Someone put a lot of time and effort into it and it looks fantastic. One thing's for sure. We're not about to give up. Being in Oaxaca City, we had to find some Mexican grub. The best place to find it is usually the markets. Insert Mercado 20 de Noviembre. Yeah, so this is it. It was packed, but we found what we were looking for. Food for days. So cloudy. One of the sections was so smoky from everyone cooking all at once. We hear you pick your meat, and then they cook it right there in front of you. God, I lost you. We are trying to go quick to fit more into our day, so we sat down at the first empty spot we saw. We ordered a Tayuda, which is like a Mexican pizza, and is very well known in Oaxaca. 
we just found a spot where there was two empty seats and we're like, all right, we go there. Because it's crazy in here. All right, look at that thing. But this is what everyone's eating, so that's what we're eating it's today. Like Kind of, yeah. So far, super good. The meat's flavored really good. This is pork, chorizo, and steak. Avocado, tomatoes, Oaxaca cheese. It's a little bit spicy, but I love it. Crispy, it's pretty good. Most importantly, we almost forgot to tell you how much we paid for this. Eight dollars for this whole meal, this whole plate of goodness here. Yesterday did not go as planned, but that can be expected when you're on a road trip. We really wanted to go to more places to eat, but unfortunately, I don't know, we just had bad luck finding anything. But we have something we're going to go see today, so hopefully our luck will turn around. And we're off. We're taking you to a hidden oasis known as Yerbe el Agua, a nature preserve that we didn't research enough before heading to. And I gotta be honest, I've been lagging this week and I've been forgetting to bring the tripod and the drone everywhere, so this video has been extra hard to make. Question for you, does anybody know what those little cars here are called? In Thailand, they're called tuk-tuks, but here we have no idea what they are, so if anybody knows, let us know. I don't know. You got me. Tuk-tuk, that's what it's called. I guess you could say we've been learning a lot of lessons recently. One, don't drive at night. Two, research before leaving. And three, pack all the things. Before we knew it, we found ourselves further and further out into the wild foothills of nature. You follow a long dirt road that winds through some of the most remote villages in Oaxaca. This was real Mexico. driving our van through an old western movie. Time stood still and the quiet simplicity felt like a gift away from the busy city. You imagine yourself living here and for a moment you understand why the past was the glory days. Nothing but fresh air, mountain views, and living off the land. All you had to worry about was your next meal and when the sun was rising. We're squeaking. If anybody was wondering, we're still squeaking. Mm -hmm. But the brakes are working, so we're good. You end up paying twice along the last stretch of road. The total was $4 each to get in. So we just drove for about an hour and a half from the Oaxaca area, Oaxaca City. We made it to Irve El Agua. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. You can see the pools down there. There's a lot of people here. All we knew was that we were looking for something that looked like a frozen waterfall. But we didn't know there was also mineral rich pools you could soak in. What we're calling frozen waterfalls is actually calcium deposits formed over thousands of years ago that resembles flowing water. Pretty cool. I 
plan to use the drone to give you guys a glimpse of how cool everything looked. But as soon as I stepped out of the van, there were no drone flying signs everywhere. You win some, you lose some. We should have gotten our suits on and jumped in, but we were stretched for time as the sun was going down and we really wanted to stop by to see those donkeys walking in circles. Oaxaca is the home of mezcal. Like we've previously mentioned, we don't drink, but when Aubrey saw those donkeys, we had to pull in and see how everything worked. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. That's so neat. Es, es bueno. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah, um, Se mastica como caña. Ah. Is the sugar cane? Mm -hmm. De azúcar? Mm -hmm. Where are you visiting from? I'm letting Jay try to speak Spanish so he can learn. Ocho meses? Ocho meses? Yeah, ocho meses. ¿Y cuando regresan para allá? When do you go back? Um, maybe never. Maybe uh, nunca. Quizás pa nunca. <laughs> yeah, possibly nu nunca. Oh. Um, no sé. Voy a Argentina. A Argentina? Uh huh. En oh. la camioneta? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Estados Unidos no, no es bueno. No bueno. No. So, sí, aquí, aquí, por acá. Uh -huh. Se le pone agua. Ah. Agua. Ok. Se rebate. Ah. 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 Le sale esa pulpa. Ah. Ah. Pupa y agua, así es. Ah, ok, ya se va destilando. Mmm. Ah, ok. Yep, that's me. Only understanding every fourth word he said, but it was good enough to get the picture. Aubrey knows way more than she lets on, so she stays quiet until necessary. Este es una olla, ¿se ve? Ah, sí. Se me ah, se re se rellena, ah, okay. se le agrega el fuego, empieza a hervir, puro vapor. Yeah, uh, it's warm. When it goes from hot to cold, that's when it, it condenses and that's that's the alcohol that comes out. Oh cool. I don't know if it's sugar cane, I'm not really sure what it is, but I've been gnawing on it over here. It's the cactus. So that's the cactus. They cook for eight days in the pit. Then they put it here and they smash it. Once it's smashed, then it goes into there and ferments. And then they add water. And then they take the water out, cook the water, and it condenses through the still. It's like a still. And then it comes out pure alcohol. And this horse will walk around in circles for an hour and a half Smashing it. Smashing it and down. Smashing it. Put it in there. They mash it, yep. And then they add water. So this guy right here is a really hard worker. A nombre de Cuco. 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 We're going to feed Cuco a carrot. Maybe? Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. What'd I do wrong? Not sure why the donkey wouldn't take the apple or the carrot, but we tried. That donkey's probably never seen those things in his life. All he eats is alfalfa and grass. It was sad. For you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was a family run operation. We gave the boys some barely squeaking by stickers and they kindly posed for some pics with us. We have nothing but good things to say about Mexico, about the people, and about the way they make us feel like home. I got completely tore up from the flies or mosquitoes at that spot and I'm still healing, but I would do it all over again for the experience. We may not have eaten at all the best places or swam in the springs, and maybe we miss doing so many things in this area, but simply feeding the dogs here will go down as one of the most memorable feelings we've had in these past two days you realize the adventure ends up being about the small moments of action and encounters with all walks of life 
and much less about the views. See you next Sunday. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. That's the cactus. This is the that, cactus. That they cook for eight days and then. You can tell them. You okay. Do, yeah. So that's the cactus. Anybody ever been in one of these things? Leave a comment. Look at coffee beans, right? Nice. I am wearing my special dress today. It has a hidden pocket. You can just put your phone right in there and no one's ever going to see that. We're gonna walk down to the pools and check it out. Yeah, I don't have anything to say because I don't know where we are, so I'm sorry. Perfect. It's had bad luck finding anything, but we have something we're gonna do. But Christmas everywhere. We're going to Oaxaca, to the city, and. Nuts. No, actually. They weren't bad. What did it taste but, like? Well, so they were kind of soaked in mole, so it tastes like mole, right? Oh. So when you get a plate of mole, everything tastes like mole. That's how that goes. Look at your tummy. Look at your little tummy. Aww. Oh, look at you. Hi. Aww. Okay. Mm -mm. No, 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 Actually, yeah, I'm getting lazy on driving. I just like getting a ride everywhere. Maybe we're gonna take an Uber all the way to Ushuaia. I'm on a mission to find the best chocolate chip cookie in the world, so I always try them. Okay. Um, uh, You're you sad now? Yeah. What are you gonna do with those? Please stay. Must And you can just suck on it, you know? Yeah. Like a sugar cane. Yeah, so that's before it's fermented, right? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. So before they put it in there, that's what you got. Wow, they're all still alive. Look at those tails. Look at those little tails. Oh my goodness. I can't do it. I'm not good standing either. Do it again, Kuko. There you go. Oh, so good.